What's up, y'all? It's Spicy AF, and I'm back with another spicy topic. Hit that thumbs up, like this video. Also, follow me on X, it's Spicy AF, and it's at Spice Tea Spill on Instagram. Here is the picture. Subscribe and share. Stunner Girl has found herself in a near death experience y'all if you don't know stunner girl is a rapper and she has that song with jt that really brought her into mainstream i don't think it kept her into mainstream but the song like that if you don't know you probably want to look it up like that right that song really propelled her into a until mainstream because she wanted to be in the industry she should have soared from that song I don't know why it seems like with Stunner Girl to me that she has very good highs, but then she falls back. Something always brings her back. Maybe it's good because obviously Stunner Girl was involved in a shooting. Yes, Stunner Girl was involved in a shooting. She's not given too many details on it, but as some of you may know, she is from the gang life over there and she's from Sacramento, California where gangs are very prevalent. She's over there, you know, in gangs and stuff like that. And Stunner Girl is no stranger to criminalities because all throughout her childhood, she's back and forth struggle going to detention centers, getting in trouble, going to jail at 14 years old. So she's no stranger to that world. She's even said that her mom was a gang member too. It's very hard for people like that, I'm pretty sure, to get out of that world because they're affiliated with gang members. There's confidentiality among gang members. They can't snitch, they can't talk, they'll be in danger. So they might fear leaving the gang and have to really go into hiding or something like that. And Stunna don't want to do that. She wants to rap, that's what she wants to do. She was on Baddies when they did Baddies West. That is where Stunner Girl cast it. And in the baddie show, I say she was likable. She got in a lot of fights with uh, Biggie. Biggie ran her mouth all the time. So Stunner Girl ended up getting into it with her. Um, other than that, I saw that some Stunner Girl minded her business for the most part. She was likable. She does give likable. She has a very soft voice. She's, she, to me, I think she's adorable. So people do like her, but I also know that she's pretty. So people can tend to get jealous of her too. She likes, she liked Krishan though. Her and Krishan was cool on the show. Following the show, Stunner Girl talked about how Zeus Network, you know, Lemuel and Natalie Nunn did not want to pay her. She, at the time, she had to leave the show and couldn't do another season, which disappointed fans, me too, because I, I mean, because I liked her when she was on Baddies. Um, but she, when she left the show, it was due to a conflict of her scheduling. Stunner was rapping, and she said that she booked $20,000 a show. Um, and Baddies was only paying like 2000 So she had to weigh what was the best decision for her in her career. It was not beneficial for her to stay on a show paying her less money than what she was getting for doing her shows on her own. So she ended up leaving Baddies. And um, I guess they wasn't willing to pay her more money, her worth. So there was kind of like, to me, I say bad blood. She went on live and she exposed that one of the castmates, two of the castmates was sleeping with the owner of the show, Zeus Network Lemuel. So it makes me think this girl's getting shot after she exposed that he's sleeping with castmates. That man is married. He's a married man. Did that really have some bring problems in his life and is there some retaliation because again we don't know what happened and what why she got shot but let's take a look at what's developed y'all stunner girl posted someone posted this prayers for stunner girl and then it alerted her so she went and she posted that she had got shot over her breast, which is a miracle because she could have got very well shot in her heart. So thank God she made it. It came out through her armpit. And that is what she's going to post after this, y'all. And I'm no, I am no expert by the angle of that. I can only imagine 
if they came from behind from the side as a surprise she immediately ducked i don't know but again it's a miracle that she didn't get shot in the heart you know and um here she's showing some more proof that she had got a prescription for a gunshot wound where she scratches off the actual prescription i know nosy people want to know what it was but it, there is an emoji over that could have done this um y'all know not too long ago when sunny girl was on stage her husband was he's always her bodyguard some guy from the audience had slapped her in the back side touching on her you know her husband beat him up beat him up real bad so we don't know if it's from that um, we don't know if the gunshot comes from another situation where she was on baddies west and when she got off the show she exposed that the producer lemuel Plummer had been sleeping with scotty girl and another one anna mac well anna mac is happy about stunner getting shot saying that it's her karma wait wait because what did i tell this bitch it may not be today it may not be tomorrow but you are gonna get yours every bitch that do some real evil nasty shit to me i tell them even if i don't fight them you're gonna get it now this bitch got shot <laughs> yo ain't shit funny about that but i told bitches karma is real now this bitch shot like no shade bitch you be wishing death on people i really hope you don't make it too bitch <laughs> Boom! Niggas is really spinning. Bitch, now you got shot because you're such an ugly, evil hearted bitch. You do evil shit to bitches. You set bitches up. You try to kill bitches. Now look at you. Lifeline. I don't give a fuck. You bitches reap what y'all fucking sow. What you put out in this world is what you gonna get back. You try to kill a bitch. You try to hurt a bitch. You try to set somebody up. You try to get them killed. That's only coming back 10 times forward, baby. Especially when people don't bother you and they innocent and you just choose to be a bully bitch. And I'll fight for your life. Okay, last thing I'm saying, because I got to go get ready for my flight. But I'm, I'm really a good person. I might talk shit. I might do the most. But I'm a good-ass person. That's why so much good be happening to me. I don't give a fuck about none of that negativity that y'all be trying to put out there. Because, look, like, I'm really good. Most booked. Getting bread. Life is good. I'm happy. I'm traveling. Like, bro, nothing bad be happening to me besides stupid, goofy shit. I'm a clumsy bitch. I might crash the car. But, like, bro, a bag stay in my pocket. I make... Maybe like over five bands a day. Like, God is good. Because I'm a good woman. I got a good heart. Stunner Girl's husband went to post. Keep my wife name out your mouth. Bum soft, homeless, 304s. Wouldn't survive half the is she been through. My wife the most loving and caring woman alive. On top of that, she a gangster. Worry about fixing your fracture, broken, battered face. You nigga be in a get actual residence. Not a hotel room. Be foes speaking on mine. And that is what Stunner Girl's husband very much upset responding back to Anna Mac. Again, Anna Mac is the chick that Stunner Girl exposed was sleeping with Lemuel. Also, Gotti with the body was exposed as well. And Stunner Girl then responds back to Anna Mac. Wonder what she has to say. Whatever happens, whatever happens. So it's like, like, she doesn't even like look right talking on me. They they told you keep her bitch. It's so crazy. Like my supporters are so many. That they damn near beat your ass just for talking about me. <laughs> Let's keep it a band. Because you don't look right speaking on me. You don't look right speaking on nothing that got to do with a real hood bitch. Okay? That's the difference. Now, I see if it was another hood bitch and she was battling with me, whatever. Cool, whatever. But you, bitch, you corny fucking from Timbuktu, skinny, bony, bullshit ass police fucking nothing ass bitch like you don't look right even with my name in your motherfucking mouth bitch you're not a real bitch sorry to tell you that the little the little the little fights you got on the app and all that shit bitch that shit don't count for nothing bitch oh god in 10 to 20 years nobody even gonna remember you bitch oh god like huh. the the music career is dead you wanted me to die so bad bitch but your music career is dead like it's not alive your music career is dead bitch like oh god bitch they don't even play her fucking music in the elevator like <laughs> <laughs> bro they don't even play your music at forever 21 bitch have you ever seen this bitch posted on the shade room ever just awesome real shit like on a normal day no 
bitch. TMZ? No. Any any viral blog, news station, double XL. Bitch, I even got to be on double XL. Long bitch six years ago. You have, you haven't even got a fucking interview on Genius. Like, girl, you really fucking suck. Like, nobody cares about you outside of you arguing with the baddies. Cause you're not even a baddie. Like, I don't even know how you made the motherfucking uh the show. Motherfuckers then found articles, motherfuckers then found pictures and videos of this bitch around before she was ever on the fucking show. But it's like she's such a fake lying ass bitch. She come on TV and she makes herself into this into a character that she not. Bitch, you're not a real bitch. You can't you can't even you can't even you can't even accept the fact that you was fucking on your boss. You still don't even want to admit that. Nobody could believe what you're saying, bitch. You're a fucking liar. And go suck some dick, bitch. And pick a better dick to suck, bitch. Because the one that you're sucking, bitch, got you beat, battered, bruised, and broken, bitch. Fuck. How, how about that? <laughs> how about that? Bitch, stay up in my motherfucking business, bitch. I'm from the hood, bitch. I'm really from the hood, though, baby. I don't do no calling no 911, pussy-ass bitch. Fuck is you talking about? You couldn't, like I said, bitch, you couldn't walk a mile in my motherfucking Jimmy Choo's, hoe. You couldn't walk a mile in my Jimmy Choo's, hoe bitch talking about oh god it's karma god spent the block for me why god ain't spent the block on a nigga that fractured your face was that karma when that nigga beat your ass bitch you living in a hotel for all this whole time in airbnbs that was your karma bitch how about that and you still living in karma bitch because guess what it's a new season you're being forgotten about no one cares about you and guess what you live karma every day because you gotta crash the fuck out bitch literally like you don't even have a choice you can't come on to that season and not fight bitch you know that nigga kick you to the huh yeah boss man baby he he gonna huh, kick that ass to the curve bitch you know you can't do a season without fighting bitch you know you gotta fight you know it <laughs> you know you got to fight and like i said on my other life my situations ain't got nothing to do with these reality punk ass bitches bitch i do so much i do so much in the streets bitch it ain't got it's none of your business it's none of your business what goes on with me it's none of your business that whatever bitch we don't live the same life okay anyways thank you you gotta fight a little harder stunner girl said that her beef didn't have anything to do with baddies and that could that could be true if that's what she's saying well if you notice in what she was saying and get the tone of it she don't really want to argue with Anna Mac. she don't feel like she's on her level she really from the hood son of girl but Anna Mac, she feels like it's not her competition so she wants a moment and she's trying to stay relevant on baddies she just feels that Anna Mac is inserting herself like I said is because she needs the attention and the relevancy because she's not as known and popular Stunner Girl has been doing great big things she's posted all the time besides baddie after baddies she had a hit song um like that you know you like that uh, wetter wetter huh you know she got a lot of like replay and she has momentum so um besides baddies plus i think stunning girl is so adorable i think she's cute she has a cute voice i think she's just kind of like a on the adorable level so she's very much commercial um marketable and she just has that favor on her however now i want to say this as well if stunning girl was wishing death on people if she has played a role in a lot of negativity in her life I can see how lessons could be given to her but it's not see one thing about God God don't care about what embarrasses us we might be embarrassed to our peers to our enemies but that's not his concern his concern is about you getting a lesson so you won't die and be thrown into the lake of fire not for time but for eternity so sometimes things do happen when we refuse to make better choices and changes in our lives when we put ourselves in certain situations as stunner girl was saying she does other things and it's none of our business it's none of her business um we don't know those other things that she's done and her name has been associated with with other gangster type of situations that she denies 
some of the things that I've heard she denied. In the video, Stunner Girl also exposed that Anna Mac has the OnlyFans and she was naked, basically selling her body. And that is a response back to what Anna Mac was saying. That's Kershawn told her she, Stunner Girl sells her, but uh, her husband pimps her out. I think that she just responds and that's why i think i like stunner girl because she is not going to start the beef but she's going to respond to it she's going to answer to it and stand up for herself and that's the type of person that i can endorse and stand behind because that's how i would that's how i am i don't start beef but i will respond to it and i feel that that's the way stunner girl is besides that her being reputable and marketable stunner says that she has a new show that she is on y'all take a listen bitches is broke you bitches is bums, bitch. This is what the happy weight look like, bitch. I'm getting fat out here, bitch. Pull her tummy on you bitches up. My motherfucking cast members' rooms, a thousand a night, bitch. $2,500 room. Google it, bitch. Ain't nothing skinny about me, bitch. That's a drugged up bitch, bitch skinny. Look at this stomach. Fat gang, fat gang. Pull her tummy on you hoes. What we talking about? If anything, I'm getting fat. When you're drugged up, bitch, I will be skinny. I'm eating good, living good, having in my way, having too much motherfucking motion, having too much motherfucking pay, bitch. I can go get a motherfucking $2,000 yacht, jet skis every motherfucking day, bitch. Top floor, big balcony, though. Bitch, my motherfucking room, $2,500 a night, bitch. What we talking about? My motherfucking rule 2500 a night. And how many people we got on this trip? 10 people. So we traveling with at least 10 people. My motherfucking cast member so spoiled. Bitches don't even post. Bitches don't even post their trips. <laughs> I be having to tell these bitches. Make some reels. Do some type of content. Because everybody's just, you know, so used to this shit now. That's just how we live it. Big balcony. This motherfucking rapper. Now, Stunner Girl is not exposing what led to the shooting. But let me tell you something. She got shot above her chest. Now, if that ain't God, I don't know what it is. That could have been her last. You know, I think and praise God because we just don't know when danger is coming. And we don't want to be caught when we're not ready to meet God. Not that, you know, not when he writes down every single thing we do in a book. Keeping records of everything we do. We don't want to be caught off guard and leave this earth when we are not ready. We have not cleansed our spirit and got ready with God and, and be prepared. That's not cool. So I really thank God that he kept Stunning Girl here because she could have died. She got shot above her chest, y'all. They were trying to kill her. We don't know what led to this. The details are not being made known to us. But what we do know is Stunner Girl, she exposed some secrets. She really could have caused a lot of issues for people. Naming names, talking about Aha or Anna had slept with this man Lemuel, that the other girl, Scotty, slept with him and got the chlamydia. All these things, all these secrets. There's laws, there's HIPAA laws that protect our medical charts. We can get in trouble for breaking that law. You know, there's penalties for that. Very much confidential. For her to expose that, people could have got angry. You know, people could have got really, really angry with her. Or it could be something involving her lifestyle. You know, and, and, and I just hope that they figure out what it is because we still, she's a public figure. It's very dangerous for her to be so exposed and have this situation happen. So... We'll see y'all. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Leave your comments. Hit that thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe. And stay tuned. Because we got more to come.